Hey there guys, Crossflux here, and welcome back to more Let's Play World to the West. In today's episode, we are going to try out the new control scheme, because I finally got around to going to the controller settings of the options and changing movement to WASD and stuff along those lines. So we're going to give all of these new controls a try and see if that helps me out. The downside to this is, whoops is that I don't have a mouse cursor so I won't be able to as easily show you all what I'm kind of pointing at if I'm talking about a particular object or item or thing along those lines. Oh, I almost made that. Okay. So, in case you're curious, my control scheme is currently left mouse click is attack, shift is my uh, movement ability, whether that be blinking, running, ice skates, or bull rush. Spacebar is special ability, so like, uh, what's his name, Nouse's digging, or uh, Lumina's polarity cloak, stuff along those lines. So uh, hopefully this works out. No. Okay, there we go, go down from there. I still have the, contr the camera panning as the D-pad because I wasn't really sure where to put that. So that's still a little out of the way, but eh, oh well. All right. Oh, hello, okay. Well, at least the wide arc of the Tesla staff is wide enough to deal with two brews at once. Wow, Lumina is so much better at combat than uh, Clonington here. Whew. I like it, I like it a lot. All right. Now let's blink along to speed up our progress. Alright, I access this totem. Now, Lord Clonington succeeded in his task. He was to bring back a giant Gru. Now, I don't know if I need to help him take that back by uh, walking over there with Lumina, but I don't think that's what I need to do because I have my own task, and that is exploring these ruins off to the right. Alright, let's give it a shot. Oh, there's Lord Clonington. Hey, let's talk to him. 84, 85. Well, young ferret, if you seem, if you are here to see my glorious fight, then you are too late. But just being in my glorious presence should be more than enough, eh? I'm going to go, uh, just go over here now. Okay, bye. Yeah, so it definitely seems like, story-wise, Clonington and Lumina traveled to this spot together so it seems a little unfortunate that Lumina wasn't able to help him in the fight at all if you know if they're supposed to be together or whatnot you'd think that would be the case all right so we're in a Tesla temple temple thing maybe maybe this stuff isn't Tesla technology I mean they did just arrive to this western continent right Let's see space there. Can I... Okay, there's something over there. Okay. Um, yeah, as I was saying, maybe this is like... If this is supposed to be a western continent, then maybe all this technology here is modeled after Aztecs, Incans, and just, you know, like Native American stuff. That'd be kind of cool. And Tesla Staff OP. That was pretty simple. What does this say? This incredible t this technology is incredible. With what we found here, we'll easily be able to build our teleporter. We've learned much in a short amount of time. Solomon has already started drawing up blueprints that will for things that will revolutionize our equipment. Never realized how much of our technology came from this place. Wow. It's not mentioned in the teachings. Oh, hello. Tesla Mancers, really? I mean, to be fair, yeah, Tesla grad. Even all the optional scrolls, they didn't really mention where they got their technology from. I always assumed the Teslamancers invented most of it. The only hint we have is that one optional scroll that shows that they got the Gyrix orb from some western continent. So that's probably what this is, right? Hmm. I mean, yeah, that scroll did definitely show that uh, they went to kind of a, a Mayan kind of temple looking area. To, uh, pick up the Garrick Sword. Okay. So, let's see. What do I need to do here? Okay. Um. Hmm. 
maybe those are just obstacles to avoid. I feel like those kind of look like switches there, though. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Well, so far I've been getting lucky with being able to avoid those shots. Alright, well. Alright, I guess I can't get up there. Do I blink over there? No, I don't. What about here? Nope, that kills me as well. Okay. Where do I go? Back up here? Okay. I guess so. Yeah, I guess that was more obvious. I definitely want that health extension, though. <laughs> I really like uh, this technology there. Really neat stuff. Okay. Oh, oh that's a straight-up one-hit kill. Okay. Wow, that's quite the way he's back. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to talk to him again. Alright, well, now I know for future reference. Those are one-hit kills. Or maybe it just does, like, two points of health. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell for sure, because I was so low on health already. Alright, down here. Float. Like that. Down here. So yeah, this platforming part is pretty simple. That guy out. Warp over here. I already read that. So wait, I did not come over here last time. What's over here? Oh, a totem. Thank goodness. That's good. I definitely needed that. Anything camera-wise over here? There actually is. Maybe I don't need to do that other area. Hmm. Well, is I don't really see a way for me to get back. I guess I just gotta kill myself. Hmm. Oh well. Even if there is a way to escape, I didn't really want to come this way just yet. Alright, let's go back to where I was and see if there's other stuff over here that can be done. I just realized that I did not set a timer. I apologize guys, I started getting good about that. Uh, I guess I just forgot. Oh well. Hmm. Now, one thing I am confused about still are those little gemmy orb things. I really want to be able to... Oh, that was close. I really want to be able to know what they're for. Like, are they a form of currency for some in-game shop later, or what? Alright, so let's pay attention. I gotta figure out what spots are safe. Out, link there. I think this is a safe spot. Okay, good. Next safe spot is going to be somewhere around here. Oh, okay, good. They're not one hit kills, but they do take. Ow. Where am I? Camera? Camera? This is not helping me at all. Did I glitch? Oh my goodness, guys, I glitched. I'm like underneath the floor or something like that. I totally am, look. Uh, hey, I can collect this now, for what that's worth. <laughs> Doesn't really help me though. Wow, okay. Hmm, well, guess I just gotta reload. That kinda sucks. Alright. Let's try it again. Very interesting. But uh, it did seem that I was right though. Those things all only take two points of health, so... There's at least a chance to not die if I do well enough. Alright, I definitely want that health extension though, because I really need it, <laughs> apparently. Ow. I should have seen that one coming. I just got a little impatient there. Alright, wait for that. Wait for those ow to go by. Apparently I can't do that. Alright. When I go to blink, sometimes I occasionally start going up because I'm still subconsciously used to the blink being the W key, even though I changed it to the ship. Aww. I thought I was safe. Whew. Well, this part's going to take quite a few tries because I am really not good at this game. Alright, hopefully I'll get it soon because I hate doing the same stuff over and over again. Not just for me, but for you guys, because I'm sure it can only be entertaining to watch this once or twice. 
I can't imagine anyone's commentary over this would make this much better. Oh, 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 there we go. That's how you do it. You just gotta be quick. I keep forgetting that I can use my blink boots to protect myself by getting out of the way quickly, ow. But I have to be able to make the jump. Ow. Okay, now where's the next hit? Okay. Okay, come here. Select this. There we go. Health extension. Thank you much. I definitely needed that. Alright, so I guess this probably just loops back around. Yeah, it loops back around. Okay, so that was completely optional. I guess I do need to head over to the right. Or, I mean, I guess I could go upwards. Do I really... No, I should explore as much of this area first as I can. Just see if there's anything that I missed. Okay, Okay. yeah, I can't go behind that thing. Alright, well, I just hit the totem, so I should be able to reload. Yes, and it did save that I got my health upgrade, so... I was right in thinking that I got to the totem after I collected my health. Ooh, this is quite interesting. Alright, I assume it's... Ow! Uh, I, I don't get it. Oh, I think I see. Wait, what? Do I have to... I guess I have to blink to it? Okay, so the level's gonna rise. And... How long does this last? Long enough? No, not quite. Okay. So, it's a timer thing. I have to get to a taller platform like this, I assume. Before that... Electric level? energy level, whatever it is. Whatever this level is, I have to get to it before... before I die. Alright. Wow, this camera shifting thing really doesn't let you go far enough to really effectively see anything. At least in my opinion, I feel like it should be a little bit further out. Oh, this was a dead end. Okay. And it starts me back at the beginning. Eh, I guess that's probably fair. Alright, so, what's over here? Warp over here. Go over here. Camera, help me out? Maybe? Looks like there's definitely something big over there. Maybe I'll go to that pillar. Alright, come over here. Float. Blink. Okay, what's up there? Okay, that's definitely a big platform that I need to get to, but how am I going to do that? Alright, blink over here, blink over here. Oh. oh no, oh no, oh. Oh wow, even floating, it was just such a low polarity thing that I couldn't get to it. Alright, so yeah, it's just kind of a really big maze trying to figure out what you can get to and what you can't. Okay, I guess I'll just keep going straight this way. Alright, blink, 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 don't blink! Alright, at least there's no uh, weeping angels here. Alright, uh, since I did forget to set a timer and whatnot, I'm going to try and get to the center pillar area. I forgot to blink. Well, I was going to get to that central pillar area and then call the episode, but thanks to that death, I think I'm going to have to do it now. I apologize if I'm a little early or late compared to normal, but uh, I should be recording directly after this, and I'll definitely remember to set a timer for that one. But as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, have a blessed day.